Alright, in this video, I want to explain a little bit on the validity for the expansions. Alright, so like all of us know, when the power is positive integer, like 3, 4, 5, any positive integer number, so when you expand the, the bracket here, you doesn't need to actually find the validity of the uh, expansion, isn't it? Basically, if the power is positive integer, right, you do not need to find any range value for x so that uh, they are valid for this expansion because basically, uh, your expansion here uh, is exactly the same with the bracket here. So you have this bracket, if you basically, when you insert this, uh, this bracket equation into your graph calculator and you insert this expansion like 1 minus x plus x squared over 3 minus x cubed over 27 into your graph calculator, both of them are exactly the same graph. This is the reason why when they are the same graph, right, means what? They touch every single point for your x and y. So basically, they have exactly the same point. So this is the reason why whatever x value you have here, you have the same x value for, for here. Okay, but when the power becomes non-positive integer, Okay, non-positive integer basically means not the positive integer. Basically, it can be negative integer or it can be any fraction non-integer. So this one is called non-positive integer. So over here, I just use the something like negative 1 over 2. Like it can be 1 over 2 or negative 2 or negative 3, negative 4 or, or any fraction like 3 over 5. Then, then we will need to find the validity for the expansion. So how to find the validity of expansion actually is um uh, quite simple. Because last time, I... I, I always say um, x is always less than 1. But this one is less accurate because um, we will get this one when you get something like 1 plus minus x power of n when the n is non-positive integer, then we get x is less than 1. Supposedly, because our a and b value will change, right? So if you have a plus minus bx power of n and the n is non-positive non -positive integer, then we should get something like this our x value should always less than a over b. Okay, this one will be the cor correct one to find your uh, range of x for the valid expansion. Okay, what does it mean here? Means, basically, if you insert this bracket into the graph calculator, and you insert this part over here, I already expand for you. Lah. So you insert this expansion into your graph calculator. Both, both of them are different graph. However, both of them will intersect a certain part only. So this range actually tell you which part actually they intersect. So when they intersect means what? Only at this certain range of x here, you sub this value into both here, you will get the same answer. Basically, this x value are valid or we can say this x value we can use, uh, it, it can be used. If you sub the value out of the range into this bracket and this expansion, both of them you will get very big different uh, answer here. So definitely if I want to find the, the valid range for, for this expansion, it's quite easy, isn't it? So I know it should be 1 over 1 over 3. Okay, 1 over 1 over 3, basically you get 3. Okay, so therefore, my x should be between negative 3 and 3. Okay, so then I will use the graph to explain to you. This is the easiest way to help you to understand about this part. Okay, so if I go into the graph here, okay, you can see this, this one is when my x here is power of 3 is a positive integer. So this one is the expansion of the first one. So you can see this one is red color, isn't it? If I disable it, I enable the second equation, it's a blue color one. If I enable the first one again, you should be able to see both of them are matched exactly the same, right? They basically is, both equations are exactly the same. So they have the same x and y value for every single point. So this is the reason why when this is positive in the area, right, you don't need to find any range value of x for the valid expand, uh, the expansions here. However, if the power is not positive in the area, like this case is negative one over two, let's disable both of this. 
Okay, you have some graph like this. You have some graph like this. So, if I only expand like first three term here, you can see they only intersect at this part. So if I use my eyes to see this one, I guess it's about uh it's about negative two, negative two all the way to something like one point five, like that. Negative two to one point five. Okay, but just now when we when we do the uh validity test, we actually get something like from negative three to three, doesn't it? Why? Because this one, if you expand this uh this bracket, right, you should have infinite you should have infinite term or they call it infinite series so basically means what if i can expand more term this one i expand up to x power 4 you can see the x the the equation the graph actually changed a little bit but over here the point i overlap right actually i have more value compared to just now just now until 1.5 maybe this one until 2 and then this one is like about about negative 3 about negative 3 to 2 so, and then the last one, actually, I straight away expand until x power of 7. So, if I expand up to x power of 7, you can see I actually quite close to what I want from negative 3 to positive 3. But this one is not really touch the positive 3, but I guess it's quite close. It's about 2.5 already. Uh, definitely, if I want to touch until positive 3, maybe I need to expand until x power of 10 or x power of 15. So, yeah. So, therefore, it's, it means what? It means... So let's say today, if I sub the x equals to negative 5, if I sub the x equals to negative 5 into this bracket, and I sub the x equals to negative 5 into this expansion, okay, theoretically, both of them should get the same value because, because this is the expansion for this, uh, this bracket. However, based on your, uh, the validity, you should know if you sub, into, uh, sub x equals to negative 5 into both, you will get a different result. Because they doesn't have any intersection point for negative 5. Do you get the idea? Same idea if I sub 10 into here, definitely I have a very big different result. Okay, so therefore, even sometimes you might sub some value into the bracket and you got the math error, but you sub into the expansion, you will get some value. Yeah, it's still possible. So therefore, because of this one, so whenever you want to do the binomial expansion, you realize your power is not the positive integer you always want to find the uh, validity of the expansion, which is what range value will make both of these graph valid. So basically, you, both of the graph will overlap at that specific part. Means only this value over here for my x, right? I sub, I can get the same value so that I can use that as the answer to prove uh, my final result is because if you get a different coordinate there's no point no point right because if you want to sub the negative 5 into the bracket and negative 5 into this expansion both are getting the different answer there's nothing you can prove you can just prove okay both graph going different direction but normally we want to use this uh binomial theorem to actually estimate some 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 value yeah maybe we want to use it at calculus and so uh, and so on so therefore yeah always need to find the range when the power is non-positive integer. Yeah, I'm not sure whether you can understand from my explanation or not because, because I try my best to make you understand this and also make myself to understand uh, because previously I, I know we need to find the validity uh, for the expansion but sometimes I do not know why so I actually went to Google a little bit to find out uh, what's the reason behind. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.